So we're gonna look at more detail at the pressure changes in the heart. And when we do this, we're gonna look at the left ventricle, the left side of the heart only as an example. So before we do that, I want to um, let you know the pressure differences in the two circuits. So we've got two pumps, right? The, the circulatory system is made up of the heart with two sets of pumps. This is our systemic circulation over here. And this needs a pretty good pump to force blood through this entire system, the entire body, up to your head going against gravity. This is a high pressure system. This pump is gonna generate um, a very high pressure in order to get that blood to flow throughout the whole body. So we'll look at this again. You, you may have heard these numbers. So in the ventricle here, the left ventricle, um, pressure is 120 millimeters of mercury when it's contracting and um, goes down to like 10 when it's relaxing. At the aorta, this is where we, we measure blood pressure. So there, there is about 120 over 80. And that's when, where you measure blood pressure. You don't actually not at the aorta, it's at your brachial artery, but that is a um, basically the same as, as your aorta. High pressure, and that's going to allow blood to flow through the entire circuit. So pressure is going to allow for flow. And we'll come back to that idea when we get back to the vessels. The right atrium and right ventricle do not generate the same pressures. So the right ventricle, this is our low pressure side, our low pressure circuit, um, because but the pulmonary high pressure is systemic. We don't need to generate the same amount of the same pressure. We're not going very far. The blood's not going very far. It's going to the lungs and back. So it's not gonna generate that same pressure. It's gonna be about 25 millimeters of mercury at a contraction, so in systole, and go down to about four millimeters of mercury. So quite a bit lower. Even though the same blood is going through there, you don't need to squeeze quite as hard. You don't need to generate the same pressure to have flow through the entire circuit. We'll come back to the idea of blood pressure um, next week, and we'll look at the left ventricle, these pressure change, changes in the following videos.